goal setting. Why you should goal set, how you should goal set, and six very simple questions to ask yourself in order to set the correct goals. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. Now, goal setting is so important in the general world, in whatever it is you're doing, whether you want to be an athlete, whether you want to be in business, whether you want to just form some form of investment, or even just at your work, or even your every single day life. What goals do you need to do today in order to make tomorrow better? So there's a few questions that I'm gonna ask you right now. So if you've got a pen and paper with you or even if you're just watching this video, go and get a pen and paper or use your laptop, use, use Word. Make sure you still watch the video, otherwise you won't get the knowledge. So, goal setting comes down to very specific questions and the first question is actually being specific. So what specifically do you want? Now that could be creating a business, that could be making a certain amount of money, that could be um, reaching a, a target at work. That could be reaching a, a, a certain weight for whether you want to increase your weight or decrease your weight. What specifically do you want? Now be very specific. This doesn't mean this is exactly what's going to happen. But when you're specific, you've got the destination to where you want to go. And I've said this many times before, if you don't put the destination into the sat nav, you will never actually know the path to follow. Whereas if you have the destination, you can follow the path. That doesn't mean you're going to always go straight up there. You may go off down there and you end up may coming back on yourself a little bit and then back up and then round, then back round. And you, you may even you may even end up in a completely different place. But having the first goal, the original goal, will push you on the path. And the path doesn't just happen, but knowing the what leads to the how. You don't need to know exactly how you're going to do it. Although that is a question in here. You don't need to know exactly how you're going to do it. Because when you know what you want, things do start to fall into place. When you put your intention on what you want, some things, doors just start to open. People start to literally fall into your life. And synchronicities start to happen. That is not a coincidence. That is because you know what you want and you are setting your frequency to a higher vibration of where you want to be. So the second question, how will you know when you've achieved this goal? How are you going to know? What is it you're going to do in order to know that you're where you want to be? Maybe it's a financial position. Maybe it's a weight position. Maybe it, whatever it is, absolutely whatever it is. It's hard to give examples when I haven't got someone telling me, telling me what their goal is. But how will you know exactly when you are at your goal? Make sure you write that one down. So the third one. What is stopping you right now from achieving this goal? What is physically stopping you? Now, not mentally, what's physically stopping you? Because there's two differences. There's the physical aspect and there's the mental aspect. Realistically and logically, the mental aspect, there's nothing stopping you. But we are programmed and we've had things going in our life that stop us from progressing to where we want to be because maybe we've had a trauma in our life. Maybe we've been programmed in a certain way that believes that makes us believe that we're not competent, we're not confident enough to be able to achieve what we want to achieve. On a logical standpoint, this isn't true. This is all mental. But what is in your physical way? What is actually stopping you, holding you back from getting to where you want to be right here, right now? So the fourth question, what resources do you need? What do you need in order to achieve your goal? What resources are out there that you need to take upon yourself in order to get to your goal? Now, in my opinion, and I've heard this from Tony Robbins many a times, this is where I, be where I uh, became fond of this saying, is the biggest resource is being resourceful. Because not everyone's given everything. Not everyone is handed a silver spoon to them, but they are resourceful enough to fund, the, fund their companies. They're resourceful enough to network with the right people. They're resourceful enough to do the correct things in order to get where they want to be. Having resources 
is a bit of an excuse if you don't have the if you don't have the resources that's a bit of an excuse but being resourceful is punching that excuse in the face and saying no more i am not gonna ex give myself an excuse here i am going to be resourceful and i'm going to get exactly what i want so the fifth question how are you going to get it now like i said knowing the what usually leads to the how now there's going to be many different hows. There's going to be, so if you can imagine you're, right, I don't want to post it, no. If you can imagine, you're starting down here. This is you, down there. Your destination is up there. This is the ideal road, there. So that is the, that's the what, that's the how. Now, how it realistically turns out is you have to do this, which leads to that, which leads to that, which leads to this, which leads to that, which leads to that, which leads to that. This is the realistic way that you're gonna go. This doesn't mean that you're being a sellout. This doesn't mean that what you're doing is the wrong thing to do. This means that in order to get to that goal up there, you needed to take them steps. Oh, pen ran out. And it's just like, Thomas Edison said, he didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was a process or an invention that had a thousand steps in order for him to finish the project or to finish the light bulb. That's exactly what it is. You don't need to know exactly how, but having a, a clear understanding of how it might work is very, very useful. How do you think in an idealistical way, idealistical? <laughs> in an ideal way, in an ideal world, how do you think that it's going to pan out? If it's going to pan out exactly like that, perfect. If it does, amazing. I'm very grateful for you and <laughs> you should be very grateful for that. But if it doesn't, know that you're, you, you don't, I don't believe you have one purpose in life. I believe you have many purposes that form their way. There's one thing that you're working towards. And for me, I'm, my purpose is to create a movement of happy and fulfilled people. Am I veering off into different things? Of course I am. There's many different things that I'm doing. Are they helping to the end goal? Yes. They may not, they may not even seem like they are, but long term they are. So I don't know every single how, but having a, a vague understanding for me is creating videos, which then leads to me to speaking in public, which then leads to seminar and it, le and it, it makes sense, which will end up at my, at my end goal. So if you look at it right now and say to yourself, how can I get to where I want to be? Don't expect that's the only way, but understand this is very, 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 very helpful. So the, f the sixth and final question for you setting your goals right here, right now, <laughs> is what action do you need to take today First action, make it very, very simple for yourself. In life, we seem to complicate things. Why? I don't know. Are we gonna stop complicating things? Probably not, but are you gonna stop it? If you listen to this video and you take an action on it, then hopefully you do. But it's making it very simple. We don't need things to be complicated. We don't need to call this step something ridiculous like step one of the 30 step, or something stupid like that, literally. It's just step one. Like there's, there's no reason we need to complicate it. We just need to make it as simple as possible. And if you want to be a guitarist or be a pianist, but you don't yet play those instruments, what do you think step one is going to be? Now base your, your step one on this analogy. Step one isn't go and buy a guitar and learn how to play it. 